Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Uber Boober, and I'm going to be bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary slash coaching session between the, oh, not Redditors this time, the Team Liquid.net forum users, or forum user, rather, Arisen, the Protoss in the, what is that? Mm, hold on, I, I've been drinking a little bit, so that's the, that's six, seven, eight o'clock position. <laughs> And Hunter in the, uh, what is that, 6, 7 o'clock position? 6.30, whatever, whatever. Don't judge me, don't judge me. So Arisen has posted on TeamLiquid.net forums for a replay analysis of his build, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So this is going to be a Protoss versus Terran in what I would call a Silver League. I didn't actually look it up, but I'm fairly certain this is going to be a Silver, maybe Gold League play. And he wants critiques on exactly what he can do better in his build. So for all you TeamLiquid.net users who don't know who I am or what I do, I'm UberBoober. I've been coaching Redditors on reddit.com slash r slash StarCraft feedback on how to improve their play. They would post replays up on Reddit and I would review them and give them a coaching session, a live view or a VOD just like I'm doing now. So... I want to expand my horizons and I'm going to try it out on a Team Liquid.net guy, Arisen, Ar Arisen, yeah, Arisen, not Arisen. Now getting your warp gate out, everything looks fine in your opening build, constantly producing probes and pylons, not getting supply blocked, getting a little, nope, not getting supply blocked, awesome, awesome, that was an awesome timing, I love it, love it. Getting two zealots out. Your gas is low. I would like to see your second gas down a little sooner, but we'll see what you do with your minerals. Mostly zealot heavy, I'm imagining. Hopefully a fast expand. There. Oh, oh, cancel the fast expand. Why did you cancel the fast expand? Why? Why did you cancel that? You have 600 minerals. You have more than enough minerals to produce on these three gates and fast expand at the same time. You have... 400 oh put it down oh put it down now here's a really big problem that I see and not counting this really big problem of putting six gates down before you put down your fast expand but you have not you don't even know where the Terran is right now you have no idea you were playing in the dark he could be he could be banshee rushing you, he could be three gating you, he could be mass expanding right now. You have no idea, you have no idea. You really need to incorporate scouting into your game plan. Otherwise, there is no build in this game that is good without scouting, period, period, period. Now here's another huge flaw in your game plan. You throw down these three gateways before you even put down your nexus I would not do that if I were you because there is no possible way you can produce out of six gateways before you get the second expansion up these are these three gateways right here are fairly poorly timed getting this uh, level one upgrade uh, attack upgrade a little soon but overall if you take away these three gateways and the fact that you haven't scouted I mean your builds pretty good now this is going to be the major flaw of not scouting. This is going to be the consequence of not scouting what your opponent's doing. Is you just don't know what he's doing. And, well, he's deciding to drop you. And he's going to do tons and tons of damage because, well, you didn't scout him, so you didn't know where his army was. So you were way, way out of position to deal with this. And he's going to do tons and tons of damage. And... Yeah, you are going to be fairly able to clean this mess up, but you're going to lose over half your probes. If we check up the in club tab, we can tell, you know, the Terran's not that great, but you are 11 supply to 28 in harvesters, so you're really behind, and that, that that's what becomes when you don't scout and you don't put on early pressure and you throw this next down a little late what I really would have loved to see is given when you scouted and saw that this expansion was right here you should have put you should have put your army right here right here so that you can see you should also got the watch 
or the watchtower, sorry. You should have also gotten the watchtower so that you could see if he was pushing at the front. And, you know, you could protect from drops because this is such close air distance that this is a huge, huge danger to your build. Especially fast expand build when you're, when you are very, very vulnerable to attacks. I mean, you don't really know where where he's going to be attacking from when you don't scout as much now right here right here this attack <laughs> this attack this attack this attack now this is also another problem you don't have an observer out you don't have a robo bay at all you do you're slipping a little bit on your macro even though you are catching back up and harvest your count oh wait no never mind you're not slipping up in your macro you're actually doing fairly good in your macro sorry sorry i had my cursor on the Terran my bad so if you had an observer here this would be a slightly better attack however I do not like it always rally your units in a big ball before you go into attack like this but this this attack seems like an attack of desperation and uh, it seems like you feel like you're so behind that you must attack at this point Look. Guess what, buddy? You weren't really that far behind. You had an expansion on your Terran who hasn't even put down an expansion yet. But you want to know why you didn't know you weren't so far behind? It's because you didn't scout anywhere. You didn't scout anything. You, you had no intelligence of what your opponent was doing. So what you really, really, really needed to do was scout your opponent a little better and just calm down, take it down a level. Now, throwing down the early GG, it's a little BM when we can see that this game is 10 minutes long. Another supply drop always keeps awareness of your minimap. But still, you're really not that far behind and considering how turtle heavy the Terran player is, and you know this for a fact at this moment, you could just keep macroing up and get yourself back into the game. But again, your early build, you shouldn't have thrown down these three warp gates because they were a huge mineral waste that you could not produce out of. Even with the drop not failing, you could not have produced out of them. I mean, you're only getting zealots out even though you have... Uh, that's another problem. You have 600 gas and you're still only pumping zealots. Put some sentries, put some stalkers in this mix, put anything in this mix to try and uh, diversify your bonds. And I won't say the next word because... I, I, I'm not racist, I promise. <laughs> so, alright, you're keeping your macro alive. And see, look at this, this is so awesome! Even though you've gotten supply dropped so hard, you are still 10 harvesters ahead of your opponent! I mean, you, you're better than your opponent. You are better, I'm saying this, you are better than your opponent. You're better at macro. You might... I mean, we haven't really had a chance to see how good your micro is. Please hotkey your units. Please put them on one. Put 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 your units on one. Oh, please, please, please. Put your hotkey. Put your units on a hotkey. But your Terran buddy has them on hotkey. Actually, no, your Terran buddy doesn't use hotkeys. He's just trying to strike against that hotkey propaganda and um yeah deciding not to use hotkeys at all please put your units on a hotkey and don't feel like you have to be so aggressive especially when you're playing against a turtle player just scout know when he's expanding know when he is vulnerable and just keep macroing up and you can still bring yourself into this game i would love to see some more smart aggression since you know that he has Plenty and plenty of siege tanks at his front. I would love to see a warp prism at his back, but you can't really do that because you don't have any robo. Period. I mean, you don't have any tech outside of lot outside of upgrades and lot charge. It's the only tech you've gone and warp gate. But well, we don't count warp gate because protalsis without warp gate don't really function that well. Now, unfortunately, the Terran is going to scout this and mop it up fairly handedly. He does have close banshees, which, again, that is a function of you not scouting properly. I mean, he was on one base for the longest time, and the final push of desperation coming in that's going to get mopped up by these tanks. And uh, that's going to be GG, your... 
third base is out. Even though you still are even with harvesters, you are not... You're, you're actually even with food, but at this point it doesn't matter. You did do a fairly... You started to base trade, but unfortunately he has cloaked banshees and you don't have an observer nor a cannon anywhere on the map. So you're going to lose everything. And I mean, you really could have won this game if number one, you were more on top of your scouting. Number two, you had a little bit more tech and aggression in your play. I mean, a warp prism, anything really. Uh, Dark Templar, well, not, maybe not Dark Templars, but an observer could have could have done wonders because you would have been able to scout his expansions and shut him down to one base because he was turtling so hard while you macroed up and just contained so easily. But that's going to be the end of this coaching session. I've been Uber Boober, and um, I am a newbie StarCraft 2 coach. So head on over to youtube.com slash ubergames and uh, check me out. I'll be coaching... Uh, games on teamliquid.net and reddit.com slash r slash starcraft and reddit.com slash r slash starcraft feedback so check me out if you want me to coach your games head on over to reddit.com slash r slash starcraft feedback it's a little less popular right now and it's a lot more easier for me to check so if you want me to coach head on over there post up a replay give me a summary of what you think you did correctly and what you think you did incorrectly and I'll try and get to it and post a video on YouTube giving you a commentary of exactly what's going on and what you can do to improve your StarCraft 2 game. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace out.